Good morning everybody and welcome back to Thailand. This time we're here in Sheng Rai and we've come to a very beautiful temple. It's called Wat Rang Khan. You guys know us. Probably pronouncing it wrong, but we're gonna go for a bit of an explore. It looks really beautiful and I think it's like the main, one of the main reasons, if not the main reason people come to Chiang Rai is to check this place out. What's cool about this temple, it's not like an old temple. Weren't you saying it was built in the 90s? It's like one of the modern day temples then, right? You can't call this a historical temple if I was alive when it was built. I ain't history yet. I know. <laughs> Jess is gonna drag you to hell. So I think it's all about commercialism here, yeah, greed and all of that. It's actually a very interesting temple. <laughs> Guys, it is a super small temple. I don't even know if I, we should call it a temple. It's more of like an art installation because it's just so unique compared to all the other temples. Word of advice, come early. We came at noon because just how our schedule was. And if there's a big tour bus in front of you, just wait. It is so much worth it just to wait because you're just going to get frustrated. If you guys have been to Asia, you know what it's like to be stuck behind a, a tour bus. Jeez, look at the roof. It's like all trinkled. This is such a strange temple. We have like Jack Sparrow here. Captain America's head, the devil, Deadpool, like it's so exactly. weird. What a strange concept. Alrighty, we've left Shing Rai, coming up to the hill tribe. Wow, that is actually an amazing view. Oh wow. Look at that. This is so cool. So we're going up to the hill tribes for our project and we've just stopped. That's all right, I'll catch up. We just got to what has to be one of the coolest projects we've ever been to. We're in the hills at the moment, so we're in North North Thailand. Myanmar is literally right there, just above us. And we're gonna be staying at the Aka Hill tribe. So these are one of the five tribes who live in the hills. If you guys watched our vlogs a couple of, last week, a couple of vlogs ago, we mentioned how we're doing construction at an orphanage, which was more of a boarding school. The kids who are at the boarding school live here. So they had to do the trek up here for summer. Let's just give you a tour of where we are living. We're pretty much living with the tribe people. It is so cool. This is just our little accommodation here. Literally staying in a mud hut. There's this is no electricity, so we can't switch the lights on. But I'm sure it'll light up. This is so... There's our two oh. beds. It is a mud hut. Oh my gosh. We need to get some electricity to show you guys. It's not too bad though. And the bathroom. But the bathroom is so cool. Is so cool. So there's a, a touch this of western so... flavour, which is nice. I mean, real this place flavor. is one of the coolest places we've stayed in Asia. Oh, look at the walls. Like yeah, it's made with bottles. <gasps> Beauty and the Beast. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, there's little baby chickens. Babies. Bye bye, thank you for taking us. So I think this is where everyone's going to be eating for dinner, lunch, breakfast and everything. And down there looks like it's where the kitchen is, where everything gets prepared. <laughs> that is so big. Pull it up to your head. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> Told you guys that they say, oh my Buddha, yeah. <laughs> it's one of the coolest hammocks I've ever seen. It's like woven, what is this called? Wood, woven that? wood? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. It kind of reminds me of a boat. But then again, if you're sleepy, hmm. <laughs> So we've just come to the outskirts of the village. This is pretty much where the gate of the village is. And the Aka people, they have a religion of Aka, Buddha and Christianity mixed into one. This is their religious symbol here. And this gate is very important. We're not actually allowed to cross through this gate. We have to have a spiritual leader with us. And they believe that side of the gate, none of the bad spirits can come in. 
However, if you are this side of the gate, you're protected by all the good spirits. And it's so fascinating listening to the history of them. So the Aka people actually came from Tibet. They were saying about 50 years ago, the Aka people came into Thailand as refugees. And they've been in this village for about 52 years. Let's just appreciate how beautiful this surrounding area is. And now we're walking back into the village. <music> We're currently hiking through the village and as you can see I think we're coming into more of the main center. It is really foggy out there so you can't see the mountains but this is literally their main town. This is so incredible. We're doing that thing, what, what do you call it? We're going off the beaten track. Oh, it really feels good for you, what the? This forest is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So here in the hill tribes, you aren't going to find giant golden Buddhas that are 65 feet high. We're here in the hill and this is pretty much what we hiked up to. This is their holy place. Um, unfortunately, we can't go inside, but just to show you, they're living very minimalistically out here in the tribes and this, is, this would be their, their holy space. So this is the little volunteer dog and he follows with us and he's our little guardian. He protects us. So cute. They're currently burning to prepare for the fire season. So as you can see, it is very smoky at the moment, but if it wasn't, this would be the most incredible view. This is like paradise, guys. Dinner time! Okay guys, you cannot say that we don't show you both types of traveling. You know, we say at some fancy hotels sometimes, at the moment we're literally in a mud hut on a uh, on a mattress that is probably the equivalent of concrete. We, uh, we weren't told to bring any blankets, so I'm literally using Jess's elephant pants to cover me. There's no fan, and uh, we'll just see how the night goes. We'll uh... We'll see you guys in the morning for some fun adventures.